Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Julie and I want to share with you how I made one of these. And I've shared this on um, social media. Um, you can lift the lid up and um, you can put lights inside. They do look pretty when the lights are on. Oh, excuse me. There you go, I've left it up for you. You can just about see that with all the lights I've got on. Darker evenings. Oh, don't like darker evenings. Um, so, I've used this die here. It's called Berry Sprig. It's um, a fairly older die. Um, but you might have it in your collection. If not, don't panic, you might have other um, foliage dies um, in your collection. And um, to actually make the lantern itself, it's this die set here. There are two die sets in this collection, um, but because of my arthritis, I found the other one a bit fiddly, it made my fingers hurt. But this one, I don't have any problems with and I really like it um, so this would be what, uh, one. this would be the third one I've made with this one um, I'm not using this part but it does make um, a little ring thing at the top on the base of your dome on the top of it not the base on the top of your dome so it looks like you can have like a little hanging you can put string through or ribbon through so you can have it hanging up but obviously I put ribbon on top of mine and the foliage so you don't need that bit um, that bit there is a strengthening bit and um, I had a lady really got confused with all the dies and she didn't realize that they were so tightly packed together so I'm just taking them off so you can see so your dies are all there um, but they are close together bless her and she couldn't find her dies but yeah they are all there um, and inside ooh, mine have just come off instructions how lovely is that this is called Mosaic Moroccan Lantern die set. Um, but I like this one. It's got flowers, but they also look like snowflakes. And I have put a snowflake. Um, was it this one? Or the other one? I did put a snowflake. What was it on the other one? No, it was on the other one. Tell a lie. Um, on top of it as well to make it look like a wintry sort of thing stick on it's because I've had them on and off on and off right that's the die set lovely as it is and I've done a lot of prep but um, I've just got some more gluing to do so I just want to stick these together oh and I've used this I think you might know my favorite company anyway <laughs> <laughs> right we get just get a little sheet of paper this is a uh, pistachio green really said it wrong then and the glitter is called um, diamond but um, when you put your glue on it looks um it looks white on top but when it dries off you got too much glare on the on from the lights don't you When it um, dries off, it does go um, clear and gives you a nice sparkle. 
just oh just just oh stay around that one that's it let's just um get this in the old piece of paper trick works wonders let's just um screw that up so i that can sit underneath there now that's my pokey tool what I do is I just get hold of this and just wrap it around my pokey tool twist it round give it a little bit of shape because um, your actual dome will be shaped as well and I'll show you what I've done with that in a minute just give these a little bit of shape oh gonna have glue everywhere I've got the glue gun on Right. As I say, don't worry about just any foliage you do, but you know, whatever you've got in your collection. We've all got stuff, haven't we? Just putting some glue onto the back. Oh, I don't know whether I like these lights. I'm not a great big fan of um, lights, like when you go into like a supermarket and because if, if everything's artificial, isn't it when you go in there, oh, don't like it, makes my eyes hurt. So I want that just twisted slightly, that's better. So I'll just... Um, Pull it off, that's it, just pull it off. It's because I haven't waited, I'm trying to do it in a hurry. That's it, put it to one side, leave it to dry. Right. Now, um, well, I didn't stick that very well in the middle, did I? Never mind. Um, So I've just sent a bit of glue on there, just to get off. So, right. I'm going to do this first. I'll get this stuck on, and then I um, will show you what I've done with the other one, or the other two. Now to get this um, see-through um, effect, if you do cut into your main cardstock you will need to put another layer on to strengthen it because you're cutting out most of the um, card. Try and get glue everywhere Julie, that's, that's alright, just um, do that. So. Once you have done that, get something round and just just curl these little dome shapes like that, both sides, so it makes it easier because they will be domed. I'll do it to that other one in a minute. And you will have a little oh, get that out of the way. Where did that come from? Just pop that on the floor. <laughs> you have one. Um, I've dyed that shape, and that goes on the inside. Of here diff to strengthen that piece so we're just going to glue that on as well let's go oh dear me okay and then we're just going to glue this one on I can smell that glue gun. And there are little um, diamond shapes in this, so you can put a blob of glue down through the middle of them. That's it. I won't be able to press so hard on this one because 
I've got those gems on. Just sticky gems they are. Quite cheap ones as well. There you go, look. We do like to save money where we can, don't we? Right, the other thing I went to explain, you will need two of these and you'll get a, a die what looks like, I don't know, a squash spider. <laughs> and you place it on one of these and you've got to make sure that these little um, stick out pieces point to that piece there. So that that one there, pointing, make sure it's all level all the way through. And when you've done it, you can, and you'll end up with a shape like that. Okay, and that's going to go on the inside of your dome. All right. Is that the piece I'm looking for? Yes, that is the piece I'm looking for. You won't need that piece. Um, right. Here we go, we're going to make a long sausage. Okay. Glue. Now, I do like to glue. You don't have to if you don't want to. Oh, that reminds me. When you are cutting out, make sure you bend these score lines before you put um, your detail die on to put it through your machine to cut through. Because if you don't, um, these score lines might rub out. But I always do that and then I'll put it through and put my detail in and then I'll cut out my base um, for the detail and then um, put my detail on and then run it through again. I don't run like two dies in together. Um, so the first one is um, a valley, the next one is a mountain and those two bits there. Alright, so we're just going to glue down. this point it's all straightforward we all know how to do this bit don't we I just like the fun of them um, putting bits together like you know I don't like that I must get into like making more cars I've um, done a lot of 3D work. I have done Christmas cards, don't get me wrong. Uh, um, yeah, and I, hmm, I do like the 3D. I'm just making something up. Now, the first time I've done this, I did glue these pieces together first, but don't, don't do those yet. And it's just taking it up to a, that score line. Now I've got glue over it again. long once you've um, 
longest bit is um like like I've said before, it's all the cutting out. That's what takes you a, a time. But I I got this all prepared this afternoon, and um, yeah, and I thought, oh, I've put my because I've only got um I've got two daylight lamps on, and um, yeah, it's giving quite a good picture but um, I've got to invest in some better lights I think right so once you've done that you take the one without the hole in the middle so you're going to cut two of these and did I put that on the inside or I'm just looking on the, the inside so this I'm going to put it in like that I think that's what I done. Let me just check. Yeah, because I wanted the base. Let me turn it upside down. I wanted the base to look nice on the bottom. Look, that's why I done it like that. So we're going to turn this over. No, we're not. I'm just going to roll that. I want to roll this first before I forget. Otherwise, I should be forgetting, and then. Um, I'm going to get carried away so I'm just going to bring it round here just give it a roll just hope that nothing comes on stock that's it that's it that's that done that's that done and out the way now don't I don't start from here I start from this one there's a reason for that so and you'll need to bring it up so it's in this little bit here don't bring it right down here you've got to bring it here so it doesn't show from underneath I'll see if I can let me see if I can do it to show you Put me, you're not going to be able to see that are you because let me place it on and I'll turn it around and then you can see so if I turn that around like that you'll be able to see where it is all right because you don't want it showing underneath that piece there okay so i just um put i know it looks um a bit cock handed but i done this the other day and i thought oh that's really easy because I think I've done it another another way. Now, did I lift it up or did I bring it round? I lifted it up, I think. No, I, that's what I done like that. I must have lifted it round, and then you can see. Well, if I put my glasses on and you can get your finger behind and just press in where you need to so I'm just going to put some glue on here Ooh. and just lift it up and bring it round So all you're doing is just gluing it onto where it needs to be, okay? So we're just going to glue this one now. Don't worry about that little hole there, you don't need it. But I'm going 
going to take it out otherwise it's going to get out that's it and then we're going to bring this one around just let me have a look see where I am that's it We're coming up to the last two, so you can see now that you need to just bring it up level with that piece there. You're going to glue along here and put glue along here where you have um, where your score line is, where your glue tab is. Do this one first. So you've got to do um, like two things at once. here you're probably going to have more time than me to sit there and hold it That's moved there, hasn't it? Let's try again. That's better. Yeah, try and um, get it lined up. I'm trying to do it a bit quick. There you go. And then you can get your hand inside. Okay, so now we're going to go around all these top pieces. I might just um, that's the piece I want, isn't it? I nearly lose, I nearly use that piece then. That's a trick from watching Jody. Just slide a bit of um, um, card with glue on underneath, and then you can um, glue it if it comes unstuck. So now we're just going around and gluing all these little glue tabs now. Yeah, don't do it, but beforehand like I said big, um, it makes it really tight for getting that base in um, yeah, yeah it's awkward trust me I've done it <laughs> I think Jodie did say um, work from the base upwards <laughs> oh dear 
I've got to put my glasses on again, I can't see. Oh, let's... You know that low tape tape, if it, when it goes through the machine, you get residue um, glue on the... and I can see it. And when you rub your finger over it, you can feel it as well. I haven't done that very well either. That's a mile away. Looks like it's caught an inch out. <laughs> <laughs> oh lordy. And I like to put those reinforcers on um, beforehand as well. I don't know if Georgie done it that way, I can't remember. I'm not liking that new format they got on there. I really don't. I know it's... Um, a shopping channel but I don't like it I wish I'd put it back to how it was never mind I'm just going to wipe that glue off Now we're going to do this top one now. You can put ribbon in to um, close the two top pieces together, but I haven't. I haven't chosen to do that um, in the two that I've made so far. I don't know how this one's going to go together very well. Oh, look. Just look at that. wrong the other one is easy to do it's um but the dome shape underneath is is um smaller and where i was wet gluing um my fingers um yeah once they're in a certain position uh it makes it hard for them to come out And it did hurt. <laughs> but hey ho, I'll give it a go. But you don't know until you try, do you? I don't know what I'd do if I couldn't do this. Because I'm not a person... Um, oh, I know you're sitting still doing craft, but... No, I wouldn't be able to just do nothing. cold weather down now, Peaver. Right, that's the um, base done. That didn't take too long, did it? Right, now we're going to um, stick these together. These just go on top of one another like so. You have to make sure that you've got them 
where they need to be. Just line them up. Let's start. Let's see if I can uh, try and get this um, basically so you can see it anyway. Don't forget, um, just roll them slightly round something round and um, just to get that curve. Hello. He's got off. He's on the move, everybody. He doesn't like it when I'm over here in the in this my crafty corner. It's not a craft room. It's in my crafty corner. <laughs> now he's having a drink. <laughs> oh bless him. Yeah, he doesn't like it and he hates um because I've got a cut and boss. Oh, he hates that machine going. <laughs> I think it do you know, I think it's because um, sometimes things have um, made a crash on a wallop and it's made him, it startled him and nearly fell on him and yeah, <laughs> what's going on here? <laughs> oh. So you put those three together like that. What's that on there? Glue. I haven't got that one quite right. Well, one of them quite right. Let's have a look. Got to bring it up towards me so I can see. It's that one. Let's have a look. That's it, I think. Right. So now we're going to glue these. I hope this is not too boring. If you don't like gluing, use the tape, the red liner tape. But I quite often, usually, I've got um, something on to watch, and um, I usually just pick up and have a little watch, see what's going on. Usually got something going. Oh. <laughs> I had music on this afternoon whilst I was cutting out. <laughs> oh dear. And I do like um shall I say uh heavy rock music. I do like heavy rock music. Sing it at the top of my voice. I didn't put that on very well either, did I? What is that there? Oh, it looks like a piece of confetti. It looks like it's glued on as well. Look. And I've got a little drop shadow on that one. Never mind. Yeah, take your time. Take your time doing it. I'm getting glue all over this mirror card. I can see it. You got down now. It's gone the other side. He won't settle until I'm there with him. Oh, in the UK, we have got snow on the way, but um. I'm down um, south, so um, I think we're just going to get sleet. 
they they said keep listening to the forecast though mm. well a couple of weeks ago um i say i did say that the weather was going to turn rather icy and and snow and things i thought no that can't be right <laughs> mm. So now we're just going to go around and do the last one. The next bit I do find a bit tricky. Not this bit, but the next bit I'm going to do. Oh, look. Glue everywhere. Get off. Right. because I'm putting too much glue on. Let's just take that off there. Do you know, I thought I'd really finished that. I've still got two more to do. Where did they come from? That's not right, is it? see where these holes are one two three oh, one two three all in a row that's quite nice as well I want to let me decide which one so I want to do bend that one so we're going to bend that one back and we're going to have this one there so that when you bring this on top of here you need what's going on here hold on I need that close off okay that's better I had something on my screen and I looked up to see whether you could see and um, I had a big black well not black but some sort of pop-up thing um yeah so what was i saying yeah bend this one back so that when that goes in there and if you want to tie this together you need that hole one of these holes to be coming with one of these so you've got to have it lined up okay because these ones at the back look haven't got holes in right now we need to stick this one in here like so okay so I just go I do have a little bit of problem I don't know if this is how it's supposed to go but it's how I do it don't go it says in the instructions don't use those tabs there so glasses on and just go for it <laughs> Oops, I thought I nearly forgot myself. <laughs> glue, glue nearly went down my top. That's it. Do you wear old clothes when you're crafting? I, well, I do. I, 
otherwise I'd end up with like going out with um, glue all spattered down me <laughs> oh dear I just I just like to get that so it's coming in um, so it's coming in line with your score line once the um, glue starts drying this just gives it a little bit of um, extra support as well and it's nearly there now except for this one Come on, go together nicely. I might have to um, run some more glue down there. See what I mean? I think it's because I'm trying to rush. It's nothing worse than watching glue dry, so ladies and gents. Don't go too far down. It does go in there though. I'm going to leave it because um. I want to um, put some tape onto there. Where's the one I am? Um, that one. Now I am using red liner tape. <laughs> Sorry. I, th I thought he got underneath my chair. Got himself stuck. And those little um, foliage, that um, other greeny colour, was called, is it iced? No, blue frost. That's that. Oh, that's nice, that is. That's a pearlescent one. So now you're going to bring um, this dome and you're going to slide this underneath. Where's that hole? You're going to slide it underneath there. And then you can get your fingers underneath, around the in that piece there, let me see you. Yeah, you can see, can't you? That that piece underneath. Just, and then you can push it up. Okay. Then these will go down in and be quite tight when you push it down. Mm. 
need a little bit of jiggery pokery but they will go in there you go look and it stays there all right so this piece you you get that in your die set as well so that's going to sit on top of there so that's all we've got to do now oh i hope it hasn't been too long for you to watch i think oh god what's she doing right and then we're gonna put that on there now these pieces Let me see the other that's going to come. Now I've pulled it out, I won't be able to get it back in. Just leave it, why don't you? Should have left it. <laughs> Should have left it. Right. This, we won't need that glue now. Hold faithful. Get that out of the way. Get that out of the way. And I've made um, six of these the glue gun make sure I don't burn myself that's just untangling the wire and I just dribble a bit of the glue down there and just pop it on onto there like that You stick my fingers in it, that's it. Oh no, don't do that. I, I was making, oh, I have. Um, I was, I made a reef once using a glue gun. And um, yeah, I did have a blister. So do be careful, actually. somewhere in my top drawer <laughs> I've got finger guards <laughs> oh, but they're right underneath the stuff don't mind I'll just be careful she says hopefully so this is how I've done that lantern But I thought, because you don't have to um, cut it out for lights to shine through, and um, if you were doing an Easter egg hunt, wouldn't it be fun to hide the Easter eggs up in these lanterns? Would your kitties know where to look for them? <laughs> because um, you don't have to cut all that detail in there, do you? And you could. I have put my fingers on hot glue now. Good job I bake a lot, isn't it? And I've got asbestos fingers. Right, and then I made myself a bow with a bow maker. And um, I put a good dollop of glue on the top of there. on top where do I put those gems I think I'm gonna put a little bit more put that on there And that's how I made that. Right, I hope that helps. <laughs> and I'll see you again real soon.
Bye-bye for now.